اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session we are going to practically look into how to solve discriminant validity issues. So I was going through a model for my study and while I was going through the model I figured out that my data has some problems. In particular there are serious issues of discriminant validity. If you come here discriminant validity HTMT. Now if you look here look at this value here. This is problematic 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 and problematic now these are problematic values here all red now how do we solve this issue now, in order to solve this particular issue where if you see EC here with FP look at the HTMT ratio way over 0.90 where the recommended is 0.90 this is way over 0.90 again over 0.90 over 0.90 not that much but still and look at this as well now how do you solve this problem let's go towards step one which is cleaning of data now how do we clean our data so the first step to clean the data is to look at the standard deviation now this step has already been shared but I thought let's do a more practical demonstration where we've got serious issues like this. This one, this one and this one. So to do so, let's go and do some cleaning. Here is my data. The first thing, let's go towards the end and look at the standard deviation. Step one, look at the standard deviation. How to look at the standard deviation is equal to STD standard deviation and let's look at the standard deviation of all the items in the constructs in the study and just press enter so once you do that click here bring your cursor right at the end right side of the cell till it's get black plus sign double click on it double click and it will extend now look at this no standard deviation whatsoever all questions marked as 4 same is the case with this one and there could be others and there are others so where are all these so what I can do is I will select this sort and filter smallest to largest expand the selection yes now look at this so here are the respondents who did not actually fill the questionnaire properly because we cannot have just same answer for all the questions so let's delete it so what I'll do is how many of them were there up until 13 this is to be deleted right click delete now all those deleted so once selected right click here on the numbers so it will be deleted now that it is deleted look at the standard deviation looks fine but again the standard deviation value should be the preferred or the recommended is greater than 0.25 now up until here it's less than 0.25 here so up until 10 it is less than 0.25 so we'll delete these ones as well right click delete now it looks fine the standard deviation is above the recommended value of 0.25 let's save it and let's re-import this file import Now previously it was 318 now it's 297 I do not need this file let's delete it now let's go to our model and see what the issues are so previously it was this now let's run it again calculate PLS algorithm start and let's compare the two outputs let's see Let's select the report, the earlier one, and this is the new one. 
So this is how you can compare the reports as well. Okay, select detail. I want discriminant validity. HTMT. Now look at this. Although reduced, this has increased. This one reduced and this one reduced as well. So to, to a certain extent, you are going towards betterment. But still, the issue is not resolved yet. So where is this issue now? Now if you look here, the issue is between EC and FP. The issue is between EC and LC. So let's first address, try to address this issue, EC and FP. Now, before I go on and try to resolve this issue through cross loadings, I will again go back to my Excel sheet, EC and FP. So where is EC and FP? Let's remove this. So where is EC and FP? Well, FP is here and EC is right next to it. So this is what I wanted. Now both are on the right next to each other. Let's add a column here. Right click on AH, insert. So you will have a new column here. Again is equal to standard deviation. And now I'm going to check the standard deviation between FP and EC. Press enter. Zero. No difference whatsoever. Look at this. Zero, 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 zero. So again, select the whole column. Sort and filter. Smallest to largest. Expand the selection. And look at this. Zero, 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 zero up until here. It is greater than 0.25. So no issue. Up until 51. So around 50. Yes, from 1. So where are my column headings or field headings? They have gone down because you sorted. We'll move them back up later. So we will have to remove these as well. Up until 51. Let's see, where is it? Look at this. Look at this. Up until 51. Have to be deleted. Right click. Delete. And let's delete this now. The standard deviation column. You can keep it if you want, but there's no need. So let's copy or cut. You can freeze it as well, but I'm not doing it now. Let's just insert cut cells. Now the headings are there. Save and let's get back. Back, back. Okay, cancel, save it, back. Let's import this data. Import data file, same data file, import back and now the data is for 246 now this is the reason we need a higher sample size when we are using scm based analysis let's delete the previous data file delete and now let's open the model calculate pls algorithm start calculation now let's compare so the last report here look at this and this report here this one Select detail, discriminant validity, and here it is. Look at this. This problem is solved now. With the previous data, this was 0.9075. With this data, it's 0 0.8810. Now it is 0 0.9341 here, EC and LC, and EC and FP. Still, EC and FP is problematic, although you have checked it for your standard deviation. Now, how do I solve this problem? Now we are going to go to the next step. Now we are going to check for cross loadings. How do we check for cross loadings? Let's go back, back, reports, and discriminant validity, cross loadings. So the problem is between EC and FP. So where is EC? This is EC, FP, FP is here. If you look here, this is FP here. So these are the loadings for FP here. And these are the loadings for EC. Now the difference between the two should be greater than 0 0.10. Is the difference between 0.8352 and 0 0.6970 greater than 0 0.10? Yes, it is. Is this difference greater than 0 0.10? Yes, it is. Is this difference here 
Yes, but the problem is, look at this. It's loading substantially well onto the other factor as well. The items are loading well onto its own parent factor, FP. So these items loading well onto this factor, FP. But look at this item, FP3 loading well onto EC as well. Look at this, 0.82. The difference is less than 0 0.10, but this item FP4 is loading well onto EC. And this is as well. So first let's remove FP4. This is more problematic. So let's remove FP4 and redo the analysis. FP4, delete, PLS algorithm again, and report, discriminant validity, and look at this. EC and FP is still problematic. Let's go to cross-loading. And let's have a look here. Now again, the problem, FP, this is fine. If you compare it here, fine. Compare here, fine. Well, this is problematic. This is problematic here. FP5 is problematic here. Now we have done FP with EC. Why not EC with FP as well? So there are two ways that you will check. Now we've been checking FP with EC. Now let's check EC with FP. Where is EC? Here it is, EC. So where is EC? EC here. And look at this, EC with FP. The difference. This is fine. This is fine. This looks fine. Only this, look at this. EC1 is loading well onto its own parent factor here, but it's loading well onto factor this one here because the loading is greater than 0 0.70. So let's delete EC1. Do not just delete items from one construct. Let's delete EC1. Where is EC1? Here is EC1. Let's delete it. Run PLS algorithm again. Report. Discriminant validity, cross loading, or so rather discriminant validity. Look at this. Again, ECFP not yet resolved. Let's look at the cross loadings again. So, FP, look at this. No problem. So, we are not going to delete this. Look at this. FP, EC, no problem. We are not going to touch this. Look at this. 68677, seven, seven. no problem. We are not going to touch this. Look at this. 8055-6932, no problem, we are not going to touch this. The differences as I see are greater than 0 0.10. Let's compare EC with FP now. So where is EC? Here it is. EC, EC here, EC with FP. Here, the difference is less than 0 0.10. Here, the difference is fine. Here, the difference is fine as well. So we are going to go and delete EC2 now because the difference is less than 0 0.10. Let's delete EC2. Let's run it. Report discriminant validity HTMT. Now EC and FP problem solved. Discriminant validity, look at this now. Look at this, EC, FP, no issue now. But what is what about this, EC and LC? So the first thing is, we are going to get back here. Let's, let's do with cross-loading, although you can start here. Let's do EC and LC. Where is EC? So here is EC and here is LC right next to each other. So insert standard deviation let's go for standard deviation std ec and lc let's press enter extend it look at this problems smallest to largest yes and look at this so let's delete these delete Let's save it, bring that on top. Insert cut cells, save. We do not need this, delete, save. Let's import it again. Save it. Import data file. 
export now let's go to report discriminant validity hdmt 0.9310 ec and lc now let's look at the cross loading between ec and lc so where is ec here is ec we have already deleted some from ec so where is lc here is ec loading well onto its own factor lc what about lc well, although it's loading well but still the difference is greater now we cannot remove one from here let's let's see if we can compare lc with ec so where is lc here it is lc 0.83 where is ec this is fine looks fine this is fine as well although the item is loading well onto the other factor this is fine this is fine look at this fine now this item here lc2 instead of loading well onto its own factor which it, which, which it is but it's loading well onto another factor ec so this lc2 is problematic let's remove this back where is lc lc2 delete run pls algorithm again report discriminant validity hdmt now ec and lc the problem is still not resolved and there is problem with ethical and lc as well so ec lc again we have to go back and look at the cross loadings so where is ec and lc so here is ec and where is lc here is lc now look at this well, the differences are over 0 0.10 but still this one is very close so let's remove lc1 for now let's run it again now look at this the problem is resolved so this is how this is the pain taking process to remove the issues with respect to discriminant validity whereby you start and recheck recheck the standard deviation then you keep on checking the cross loadings when you are doing your uh, discriminant validity assessment in smart pls also you need to check one more thing outer loadings make sure the outer loadings are substantial so this is a practical demonstration of how to remove discriminant validity issues thank you very much